Today I'm going to be talking about the fact that Microsoft is nowhere near as nice a company as you would think. But before, my name is Steve Smith, this is TQA Weekly, and is your computer trying to tell you something like call tech support? Well, if it is, I want you to listen very closely and very carefully. I'm going to save you hundreds of dollars and a lot of headache. And this also applies to those that get phone calls. But in the case of phone calls, your computer's probably not infected. Just ignore them and tell them you own an Apple or you don't own a computer at all. For those that have a message on the screen telling them to call tech support, providing a phone number, don't call the phone number. Because what will immediately happen after calling that phone number is they'll provide you with instructions so to get the computer up and running enough so that they can access it. They'll suggest products to supposedly protect your computer. And all of this will cost you hundreds of dollars for bogus software and bogus tech support that will apparently make your computer work like it's supposed to. Unfortunately, you've just compromised everything about your computer security and there is no way around it. You are now the victim of fraud and a scam and you're possibly going to be subject to identity theft on top of all those files in your computer that can be stolen, which they will be able to do once they have access to your computer. If you're not scared yet, well, I don't know what to do. But needless to say, what you should be doing at that point is disconnecting your computer from the internet right now. Then what you should be doing is hopefully you have a backup, but if you don't, getting a Linux distribution disk and moving your files onto another drive like a USB stick, that those files that you absolutely need, if you don't already have backups, hopefully you have a backup because the next step is gonna be even more annoying. You're gonna to have to get an antivirus for Linux to scan the files before you can reconnect that drive ever to another Windows machine. Once all of that is done, you will have to reinstall your operating system, this being Windows, from scratch. And I mean deleting the partition before reinstallation. And if you have a UEFI BIOS, you're gonna to have to go into the BIOS and reset the PK keys. The instructions will be in your manual. Only after this, with the reinstallation of Windows, will you be quote unquote safe again. Hopefully you scan the files in question before putting them back into your computer. So if you're wondering why I'm not suggesting an antivirus solution, it's because it is too late. At this point, the damage is done. Removing the virus does not reset any of the damage, and there's no way to know which settings have been compromised. Not knowing which settings have been compromised means that you are basically exposed to the internet and there's nothing you can do about it except reinstalling Windows because you do not know which settings have been changed. So yes, an antivirus can remove the virus, but it's too late. The damage is in fact done. That is why I'm not suggesting an antivirus solution for Windows, only for Linux to make sure that your files that you have are clean. I hope you liked this episode, and if you did, like this episode, otherwise dislike it, share with those that you think can benefit from this, and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at cqaweekly.com or go to my website, cqaweekly.com for everything else. And if you want to get this show 24 hours before everyone else and become a patron of the show, go to patreon.com slash cqaweekly and become a patron today, link down below. And of course, thank you for watching and goodbye.